We continue with our free agent breakdown and who the Jets should resign. We have looked at Jordan Jenkins, Brian Poole, Marcus May, and Brashad Perriman. Now we're taking a look at the offensive line. Let's take a look at some of our fatties up front. Should the Jets resign Pat Elfline? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome in, guys. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. All right, we have talked about all the former uh, players that I brought up in the intro. So Brian Poole, Marcus May, Jordan Jenkins, and Brashad Perriman. Now we are taking a look at guard Pat Elfline. Now the Jets brought Elfline in off waivers from the Minnesota Vikings. It's actually pretty interesting because a lot of Jet fans were calling for Elfline, who was a center in college, uh, to get drafted by the Jets in the third round. The Jets actually traded out of that pick, and then the Vikings wound up uh, taking Elfline. So Poetic justice, we wind up getting him on waivers here. Now, he is six foot three, 303 pounds. He is 26 years old. Pro Football Focus graded him out as a 48.2. His Pro Football Focus rank as a guard, 73. Now, that is left guards and right guards total. Um, so, again, not great. This is a backup caliber player uh, when you're you know talking all things considered. Penalties, he had two over the course of the season. Again, he only played in about half the, the season. He I believe we brought him in right around the bye week or so. Um, in terms of free agent rank, he's he's not ranked in the top 100. He's not that type of, of free agent. Um, blown blocks, he had 14 by reference. Becton had 11, so not you know great, not horrible, but not great. Uh, sacks, he didn't allow any sacks this season. So really interesting. I think Douglas wanted to sign uh, Elfline in free agency, this upcoming free agency. Now, because he was cut, we were able to claim him on waivers and just sort of pick up his contract. Um, I like this move. I think if I were Douglas, I would look to re-sign him. Over the cap has him valued at about half a million dollars. I think in my mock offseason, I projected him to us for like one year, two million dollars. Basically an Alex Lewis type deal. We're going to be moving on from Alex Lewis. I really believe he's going to get cut. Save us, I don't know, I want to say it's like six million dollars or something like that. Um, maybe it's less. I, I don't. I don't remember offhand, but... I would like to have him brought back. Now, he's not a player I want as a starting guard for this team for next year, but I think depth is going to be important. You're going to have injuries across the offensive line, and this guy can at least play center and guard. Uh, give him a full season with a preseason with the New York Jets in this new system. Maybe you know a little bit faster of a guy potentially could... I don't know. I'd like to see him in the system. I'd like to see him a full year with all the reps not coming in halfway through the season trying to pick up on you know a season that's already you know, in the crapper. So I would bring him back again, not a whole lot of money here. I don't think it's anything crazy. Yes. Go out and get another guard. If you can get Thune, if you can get Sheriff, if you get someone like that, bring in two guards. If you have to, if you have to draft a guy, but I would still bring this guy back as a depth piece. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you want to bring back, back Pat Elfline? Are you looking to bring back Alex Lewis? Do you want to roll with, you know, another player? Do you want to just say, Hey, screw it. Let's go with uh, you know, a completely different direction. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, Go Jets. Yeah!